Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 8th day of June. Here we go. Last halacha for you in this category of things that are considered dangerous. We had lastly done with you the laws about not leaving water uncovered. And lastly, we're going to do today the laws about leaving wine uncovered. Uh, you're not supposed to make wine Sorry, you're not supposed to make kiddush on wine that was left uncovered. It actually is not because of danger. It's just because it's considered dishonorable. That's what the Mugin Avram says, to go and use uh, wine for kiddush that has just been sitting around uncovered for hours and hours and hours. That's considered not honorable. So if there's uh, a cup that has been sitting out, like let's say overnight, it's just not nice to go and make that be your kiddush cup of wine. So do not use that for kiddush. Even bidieva, that means even after the fact. You say, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, but can I use it now for Kiddush? And the answer is no. It's not honorable to Kiddush to do that, to take a, a cup of wine that's just been sitting abandoned and say, oh, let's use that for Kiddush. Not proper. Same law applies to Havdalah and also to the cup that you use at benching. You're not allowed to make Havdalah or use the cup for benching as one that was lying around uncovered for a long time. If it's for a short time, then it's considered no problem. What is a short time, it's not clearly defined, but it probably just means like a, a number of minutes, that would be fine. But something like hours and hours overnight, that would be considered too long. Now, the postgame of today do say, though, that if you had uh, wine that was in your refrigerator and it became uncovered in the refrigerator, that's not going to be a problem of called uncovered. It wasn't abandoned. It was in a special place keeping it cool. And uh, you might want to check somehow to make certain that it hasn't acquired like bad tastes and odors from having set sat with other foods in the fridge, but assuming it's all fine and everything, then you're allowed to use that wine that was sitting in the fridge. Classic example of when this would happen would be like you had a bottle of wine with a cork. The cork popped off while it was being pushed into the fridge, and the wine has been uncovered for a few days, but it's in the fridge, so it's totally fine. Um, interestingly, at the Seder, you know, we pour our cup of wine for the arbacosos for the four cups, and then they sometimes sit like that for you know, an hour or two till it's time to drink them. That's not considered a problem because that's still part of the meal and uh, we're watching it and everything at the meal, so that's not considered like an abandoned cup. But a good example of where you should watch for this is the Kos of Eliyahu. That special cup that was poured for Eliyahu, um, at the end of the Seder, if it's still sitting there on the table and you want to use it for Kiddush the next morning, then by all means cover it. It shouldn't be sitting there abandoned and unwanted, uncovered all night long, and then you decide, okay, that's Kiddush tomorrow morning. Cover it for the reasons of honor, not because we're worried about a snake necessarily, but for reasons of honor, we want to make certain that you don't use a seemingly abandoned cup of wine to be your cup for Kiddush. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.